Virus began to decline. Today, 23 cases were detected, and we are still waiting for an update on the last patients that are in critical condition. But the World Health Organization has declared, among other news, that number of cases are dropping noticeably. ICU beds are vacating. It has also announced that it is discontinuing vaccine research because. of social isolation and number of cases reported today after 67 days of confined isolation we are now under strict regulation now 102 days into this crisis and the need for economical reactivation is now more imminent than ever day 145 and there's no sign of economic progress while inflation is exponentially growing into four believable 157 days into this madness and we are just now starting to notice a form of industrial reactivation it's been over 200 days since the crisis began and we are noticing a mental health crisis that affects the general population especially on children and senior citizens <laughs>
governments are currently more focused on the state of the economy than the pandemic. Since cases are continuing to drop dramatically, less patients are getting treated with the vaccine and ICUs are vacating rapidly. Laboratories are slowing vaccine production down because of fewer demand. Furthermore, mobile clinics are getting dismantled because no new patients are coming in. We have breaking news and development. We are hearing about an interesting case reported to contain some strange mutation of the virus, which appears to be a more aggressive strain. This has obviously raised new concerns about another possible outbreak within the population. This is undoubtedly more than a victory despite the global economic chaos. No new COVID cases have been detected. Although few isolated cases have been reported, they only expose flu-like symptoms that pose no threat at all. We as humans have been through complicated times and this is certainly one of a kind for all current generations. Although a nurse's job can be physically and emotionally draining, most of them are severely underpaid for the work they do. They pick up extra shifts on their days off because they are being paid not nearly enough for all of the work they do. Despite all of this, we love them as they are the true heroes that are the most present on this battle's front lines. They have no fear, just the purpose of caring and saving lives. They are the first to arrive and the last to leave. To conclude this new segment, the patient reported yesterday to be in critical condition is now considered to be the last case. It happened at the Happy Seniors Nursing Home in El Paso. She has been identified as Guadalupe de Nunez, with a known prior condition of stage two diabetes. It is particularly interesting to note that she has hopes to survive. More news to come after the commercial break.